A vast amount of waste oil is generated by ships which use different kinds of oil for machinery operations. The waste oil can come from various sources such as engine lubrication, fuel consumption and other mechanical processes. But the ship has limited tanks to store it. Then how is the waste oil managed and disposed? Before we go into the details, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive all future videos in your feed. Ships do not throw or pump the oil overboard. It is unlawful and could lead to hefty fines and imprisonment of the crew. Instead, the waste oil is segregated in sludge and bilge and ships have dedicated sludge and bilge tanks. Bilge and sludge are a mixture of oil and water. The only difference being that bilge has less quantity of oil while sludge has more oil in it. Many tanks on ships carry different types and grades of oil. They are usually provided with a heating arrangement to keep the oil's viscosity at a limit and separate water from it. These tanks have drains from where the heavy water which settles in the bottom can be drained, separated and sent to bilge tanks. The fuel is further treated in the centrifugal separator. Here, additional impurities in the form of sludge and water are separated and sent to sludge tank. Similarly, all machinery leakage are sent to bilge or sludge tank. Depending upon the quantity of oil the leakage mixture contains, the bilge water can be treated in onboard equipment called an oily water separator or OWS. It filters the water as it passes through different stages of filtration. These stages are designed to separate the oil and water based on their densities. OWS consists of three segments. The first filter unit. This unit consists of catch plates inside a coarse separating compartment and an oil collecting chamber. Here the oil has a density lower than that of the water which makes the former rise into the oil collecting compartment and the rest of the non-flowing oil mixture settles down into a fine settling compartment after passing between the catch plates. This unit also consists of a coalescer stage and a collecting chamber. In these stages, the coalescer induces a coalescence process in which oil droplets are joined to increase their size by breaking down the surface tension between oil droplets in the mixture. These large oil molecules rise above the mixture in the collecting chamber and are removed when required. Second filter unit. The second stage is again provided with a fine filter to remove more oil from the output of the first stage so that the output from this unit should be less than 15 ppm to fulfill legal discharge criteria. Third is the oil content monitor and control unit. This unit functions together in two parts, monitoring and controlling. The PPM of oil is continuously monitored by oil content monitor or OCM. If the PPM is high, it will give an alarm and feed data to the control unit. The three-way valve inlet is from the OWS discharge, where one outlet is overboard and the second outlet is to the OWS sludge tank. When OCM gives an alarm, the three-way valve discharges the oily mixture in the sludge tank. The separated oil is then collected and properly disposed of, while the clean water is released into the environment. This process ensures that the ship's waste oil is appropriately managed and does not harm the surrounding ecosystem. We hope you now understand how waste oil is managed on board commercial vessels. Please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to see similar videos in the future. Thank you for watching.